Okay, this is, we're going to make an Appaloosa with this. Now, I didn't really record the thing the, to paint this because you're just painting it. First, before you do anything, you want to make sure that all the spots like that are covered. You kind of want to cover up all those. You want to check it thoroughly. So it's like that. Oops. Okay, always remember to wash your paintbrush out. Dry it off because then it will you know, get all yucky. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna make the eyes. Now you don't want to use a paintbrush because you'll just get it all over the eyes. So you're gonna get a pencil and dip the tiny tip. So it's kind of like about that much. You're gonna dot it on the eyes. Like that. Get too close, you can't focus. So it so its eyes are finished. Now you're gonna get the paintbrush. You're gonna kinda wipe all the water off. And the white. And you wanna dot it, you don't want too much paint, so you're gonna paint the Appaloosa part. I'm going to kind of make it, and this is a briar horse, so. I dot it on the paper. You can see you don't want to just stop. It looks more natural if you kind of just let it go until the paint kind of dries out. So it kind of just spreads out until it gets brown. Kind of looks like that until it's like this. Now you're going to get the the Q-tip. You're going to dip it in there. Kind of blotch it out, and you're going to. Watch little spots of brown. And there you have an Appaloosa. Now, to, for the tail and mane, we're going to mix a little bit of brown with a little bit of white. Now, it's a little too far, isn't it? So, we're going to put a little dot right there. We're not going to use that much. We're going to put a little dot right there. And we're going to mix them both together until we've got a light tan brown of an Appaloosa color. You want to run that out. You're going to kind of do that and blotch it. And you're going to paint the tail and mane that color. And you've got that beautiful um, color. Now it's kind of a sorrel Appaloosa. Um, and it's mane, it's there. Now some people, now some horses have a little white spot right there, so we're going to, to do that, we're going to use the Q-tip again. Put it, and we're going to splotch with white right there. Oops, got my hand in it. Now see how good that looks? Now we're going to do like one foot. Now, not all people like to repaint their plastic horses. I'm just doing this if you would like to, so if you don't like the color, you can just buy it so you can repaint it and make it however you want. And you can do that so it has like one foot. Now we're going to get a little white spots. We're going to just maybe put a few right here.
you don't have to do the little white spots, but and there you have your beautiful new painted Appaloosa. Also, you can make a bay. This is how you make a bay. Bays are very simple. The chestnut color. Um, and you color it down. Finished. Then you want to take the a bay is where the most of it's brown and the rest is black. Now I would have made it a darker brown, but I just happened to have her painted like this, so it, it can be a, a light bay. So we're gonna do the eyes now. And remember, only get the tip. Now, sometimes you're going to mess up on the eye, but that's okay. You don't have to start over. You can just do other stuff. Mostly, you're going to... Now, we're going to paint that. Alright, now we're going to paint this now. Like that, just like we done in the Appaloosa. Mm -hmm. We're gonna paint its feet like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like that. Now, for horse lovers like I am, yeah. um, that's why I filmed this. I just love to repaint my plastic horses. I just got the idea. Um, I've got a little better. The more you do it, the better you get. You might want to start out, if you're practicing, you might want to start on cheap horses, not briars. Briars are very expensive. So don't, no, I don't think you should do it on the big ones, the $50 ones or more, because those are a lot of money. So you want to do it on the classics and staple mates, but until we've got that color. Now I guess we can do the stripe, or in this case, a uh, kind of a big star, like that. Until there, we've got our bay and our Appaloosa. Here's our Appaloosa. It's very beautiful, um, light-colored sorrel color, as you like. Um, also, spray it with the clear coat so it can be shiny and it will protect the paint. And there we've got our bay. And that is how you make those two horses. I can't do paints that good, but that's how you do it. So get your horse and paint it. These. This one's my favorite.